Hi there, I'm Rachel Gable, and this is your Fair Cattle Markets update for the 9th of June. The White House announced today that the USDA will commit more than $4 billion in a new, robust suite of Build Back Better initiatives. You guys know how I feel about robust and bold. Bold. Uh, these initiatives will be focused on rebuilding the U.S. food system and strengthening and diversifying supply chains for food production, food processing, food distribution and aggregation, and markets and consumers. Build Back Better efforts by the USDA will seek to provide improved access to nutritious food, address racial equity and justice, as well as climate change, make markets fair and competitive, provide ongoing support for producers and workers, and create greater resilience in the food supply chain. Whoa. The president will also convene a global forum on the supply chain resilience that will bring together key government officials and private sector stakeholders from across key U.S. allies and partners to collectively assess vulnerabilities, develop common approaches to supply chain challenges, and work to build strength through diversity and shared prosperity. There's no plan that's been announced yet, but that's what they're going to be doing. Um, part of this was the um, creation of a supply chain disruptions task force, which uh, U.S. Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack will be co-chairing. Um, the USDA Vilsack said that as investments are made, they will seek to increase transparency and competition with attention to how certain types of conduct in the livestock markets and the meat processing sector have resulted in thinly traded markets and unfair treatment of some farmers, ranchers, and small processors. Among other investments in the food system and food supply chain, the Build Back Better will specifically address the shortage of small meat processing facilities across the country, as well as the necessary local and regional food system infrastructure needed to support them. Labor. Labor, labor, labor. Uh, Vilsack also said that he hopes to use the program to attract beginning farmers, create a pilot program for small food processors, help food hubs, and to encourage the consumption of healthy food develop, developed in a fair and healthy system. Uh, this comes on the heels of last week's announcement that $1 billion uh, will be spent by the USDA to um, purchase food for distribution. Um, that someone did ask Secretary Vilsack about the meat chain speeds. We talked about that last week that the, you know, the USDA and the Department of Justice, I think, were both trying to figure out who could appeal a Supreme Court decision on line speeds and pork processing. And uh, he said they're still talking. He said the court ruling puts USDA in a position of balancing worker safety, food safety, and farm income. The decision on the appeal was the Solicitor General's. So um, as is the theme today, we still don't know. <laughs> uh, Stabenow, uh, Senate Ag Committee Chairwoman Debbie Stabenow uh, from Michigan said, during the pandemic, we all saw how important the people who keep our food supply chain running are to the country. Uh, overall, these investments will help the supply chain recover from COVID-19 and be better prepared to weather the next crisis too. The next crisis. Oh my gosh. Um, finally, um, the National Farmers Union president uh, praised this, as you might expect. I'm still not seeing any details here, but four billion dollars to do all of those things that seems like a whole passel of goals all wrapped up like there's not room on a check memo to say what that all's for that it's a lot so I'm going to be looking forward to hearing some you know I just don't know how they're going to fix meat processing and climate change all in once, but um, we'll be watching for details of that. If you have not checked out Tri-State Livestock News or the Fence Post websites this week, please do. There's lots of good coverage of all sorts of things on there, 
and it's updated um, all the time. So check it out. Uh, I appreciate you uh, tuning in. Don't forget, if you are kind of voter facing and a little bit more consumer facing than I am, I still have some pause buttons. Hit the pause button. If you would like one of these, I have a few that I would be willing to share. They were sent to me by a reader, Rachel Meyer from Colorado Springs, who was originally from Simla, but she now lives in the Springs. She and some of her gal pals had these printed up and I have a couple extras. I'll share them with you. If you want to message me, text me, email me, whatever. Um, I'll send you one. Pause buttons. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I'm Rachel Gable, and this is your Fair Cattle Markets update for the 9th of June.